Welcome to the Battle for Azeroth Demon Hunter guide and what's changed from Legion and yeah what's been added. So for first off I'm going to go through the talents again. So the talents are the first set are basically the same. So Blind Fury, I beam generates 35 fury every second and its duration is increased by 50%. You want to be taking this just in all AoE cases. So for dungeons and leveling I'd I'd suggest Blind Fury because you're going to be using that so much. Then Demonic Appetite. So if you're going to single target, you really want to go Demonic Appetite because you're going to be utilizing your Soul Fragments and you're going to be using Chaos Straight on Global Cooldown so much. Demonic Appetite is the best. So I'm going to display um, single target first. So I'm going to take my single target talents. So for next one, Insatiable Hunger, Demon Bite generates up to 10 additional Fury. So now they've changed it so that Demon Bite is your is your melee melee hit and it generates 20 to 40 fury. So for Stationable Hunger, you're just getting way more Chaos Strikes off, just way more fury altogether. Um, Demon Blades, I'm not, I haven't take them, taken that talent yet, but it's just it's pretty much the same. It just makes you have auto attacks, and I don't really like having the auto attacks, so I'll go in Stationable Hunger. Um, Immolation Aura, so it's carried on over to DPS now. Just not really the best. You wanna you wanna like control when you're getting your fury. So in stage one is just way better. So now Fel Barrage, it's become higher up. I think this is I'm not, I'm not too sure about this because it's good but it's a one minute cooldown. Maybe with Mare it might be a good pair, but I think especially for um especially not for single target you don't want to be taking Fel Barrage. Um Fel Mastery just not good in any really circumstances. I suppose leveling it might be good, so you can just fell rush through ads and maybe kill them. But Trail of Ruin is just way better. You're going to be using that a lot. You're just going to be when it's single target and you've got loads of uh, fury, like in Meta, you want to be using Chaos Strike and Blade Dance all the time. So next set, this is just the defense tree. So Never Walk, very good in lots of fights, especially in PVE, where it's just another soaker. Um, Instincts. I don't like using blur. It's just mm, not that good. And I always use soul rending because leech obviously is amazing. And leech and matter. More leech and matter means you just won't die in matter. So now for the next one, it's dark slash. It slashes an enemy for 799 physical damage and increases the damage of chaos strike deals to them by 40% for eight seconds. I think this is good, but 20 second cooldown and you only get eight seconds. That's like every 40 seconds you're getting 16 seconds of chaos strike deal and 40% increased damage. Whereas if you take Circle of Hatred, you're getting Chaos Strikes off. And if you get the refund of Fury from Chaos Strike, it means you can get another Chaos Strike off with the Fury gained. And Meta gets its cooldown reduced, which is obviously just good all round. Makes you like use Meta quicker. And yeah, it just increases your DPS. First Blood, if you're taking Trail of Ruin, First Blood is going to be better. You're just going to get way more DPS off in your... In your... Um, in your blade dances, so really the D like uh, so far as a roundup DHS you can take really any talent tree you want and you'll do damage like it's really good. So fell eruptions can further up the tree now, so it doesn't give you a DPS increase now. It literally just stuns the target. And DHS now, if you didn't know, Chaos Nova is not a stun. It's a disorientate now. It still deals damage, so it will deal 425 damage when it hits, but it's a disorientate. So a fell eruption might be good if you want to get a stun in and not disorientate. Throw grave, mm, it now snares, but you just don't really need the snare to be honest. And reduces the fury cost of Chaos Nova and reduces its cooldown. Just take that all the time because if you get a soul fragment, you're just going to get so much fury to spend. So now for the next one, yeah, I just don't. Momentum is just not not good in any any circumstances. So Nemesis for most single type like Mythic Plus and stuff like that, you really want that. Really want that. But Demonic, I just like it so much, so I'll show you why Demonic's so good, even for single target. So if I start off, say this was the boss. So I'll start off with Go on to the ad. Just use off a few um Chaos Strikes and Demon's Bite. So just use that. And see I got a I got a proc so I get more Chaos Strikes off. I need to make sure I'm utilizing my blade dance because obviously I'm that's what I'm expecting to use in blade dance. 
So before I go into meta, I use I-Beam. So that means I have a few seconds of meta before I go in. Use up Blade Dance, and obviously that's dealing more damage. And I'm just spamming Demon's Bite, so I can go into meta with loads of, loads of Fury. So I'm just going to get ready to go into meta, and I'll go into meta now. And just spam, just spam Annihilation. And Blade Dance on cooldown, and just spam, 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 spam. You can use Chaos Nova now, so you maybe get some Fragments, and you can just use them to spend on Annihilation. So now what you want to do is you want to save that you want to save that I beam for when you're out of meta and you can get an extra few seconds in. Before in Legion it would overlap, so if you used I beam meta it would add the extra seconds in, but it doesn't now. So when meta ends, it would be a few seconds. I want to use it now, so I'll get an extra 10 seconds of it now, just as it expires, and I can just use this again and just spam annihilation, and that's basically it for DHs. You're doing so much damage again. This patch is just so good. So now I'll demonstrate the AOE talents so just move out of combat blur so it just fades combat and use the tome and spec my aoe talents so blind fury yep just want that for aoe um for aoe immolation or checking it now is actually pretty good because it hits all the targets and you're going to get fury so you want to use that for aoe just put that there and Fell Barrage, because it's going to hit all the target, so you want to make sure you have Fell Barrage. And you, for this one, it's down to debate, I think, Blade Dance, because that's going to hit more than one target, and it reduces the Fury cost of it, so you just mainly want to use that. I think I'm just going to use Leaf Chaos Nova like that, and Leaf Demonic, obviously. I won't have Meta up this time, so the DPS will be a bit lower, but it will just demonstrate that how good AoE is. So, what you'll want to start off with with is just getting getting your fury up and then using I beam and then once I beam's used you want to use your fell barrage just as it comes off cooldown because you're going to use so much DPS and meta then put your immolation on and just start spamming use up your death sweep while um, like as soon as it's off cooldown use it again if there's loads of targets it might be worth just fell rushing through them because you'll do so much damage with that and then just using a um, chaos strike or annihilation if you're a meta just on cooldown so i see immolations over off cooldown again so i'm hitting two targets for that get ready for i-beam you want to utilize the amount of targets getting hit with your i-beam so i-beam's just been used use blade dance because it's going to hit more than two targets and just spam annihilation use chaos nova because it's going to hit two targets and i'll get some um fragments off it blade dance fell novas then Immolation Auras come back off cooldown, use that again. So just making sure you're utilizing all the spells which hit both targets. So Immolation Aura, Fell Barrage. So yeah, DH is all round are just really good again. There's still like speculation for change, but in the um in the description and on the screen now there'll be a link to a dungeon I did on the DH, which is I think Zoldazir was the name of it, the troll dungeon. And I just showcased the the potential of a DH and how like really really broken they are but yeah see you in the next one